Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Wix. So now the first thing we're going to need to do is once you go to Wix.com, you're going to need to go up to the blue button up here, up at the top right corner that says get started and click on that. And then once you do that, you can either just type in your email right here and then enter in all this info and then click sign up. Or if you want to use your Google account or Facebook, you can do that too. Now, after you do that, the next thing you're going to want to do is go up here to where it says create new site and then click on that button. And now you have the choice to use AI or you can just set it up without the AI chat. That's your choice. But in this example, we're going to click the setup without chat. So now Wix is going to ask you a few questions. So the first thing is, what type of website do you want to create? So you can just scroll down here and they have some different examples that you can choose from or you can just type in your business type right here. So I'm just going to choose for this website. We're going to do a portfolio website. So I'm just going to click on portfolio and then I'm going to scroll down here and then I'm going to select artist portfolio. And then after you have that, you can click on continue. Now this is where Wix is going to give you the option to name your website and you can enter your name in for your site right here or if you're not ready to do that you can just click on skip and do it later. For now I'm just going to continue with my portfolio website. Now it's going to ask you about some different apps that you can add. These are all optional. So if you want to just scroll through these and look at them and figure out which ones you want to add you can go ahead and do that. And then the same thing with the website name, if you wanna just skip this and maybe do it later, you can just click on the skip button, it's no problem. But if you're new to Wix, I would just consider keeping this default selected right here and then clicking on continue. So now that's all set and you're just gonna click on continue to dashboard. Now Wix is going to ask us to connect a custom domain. If you already have a domain, that's great, you can enter it in right here and click on the let's go button. And that's basically going to guide you through the whole process of connecting that specific domain. And this is something that you can also do later. So for right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to check out some templates. So if we just scroll down right here and we click on this design your website bar, this is going to bring us to the page where we can customize a template or we can generate a design with AI. And so what we're going to do is just customize a template. So we're going to click pick a template right here. Now you'll notice right here on this page, they have a few drop down menus. And these are just all basically full of different templates that you can check out. Also, they have blank templates right here, collections right here, most popular new templates. But since we clicked on the portfolio and specifically the artist portfolio, Wix has already taken and put it up here in the search bar and it's given us all of the artist portfolio templates that they have to choose from. So we can just scroll through these and check some of them out. And we have tons of different pages here so you can just go through and check out any of these right here and figure out which one that you like the best. So I think that I'm going to go with this one right here. Looks like a pretty nice one. And now once you find the template you want, you can just simply click on the edit button or you can click on the view to get a preview of it. Now your template's going to begin loading in and again, it's going to ask you if you want to use AI to help you out with your website. So maybe if you haven't thought of your content yet or your headlines, anything like that, using AI can give you some extra help with that. So if you want to, you can go ahead and add some details right here about your site, and then you can click on generate site text and it will add that for you. But for right now, we're just going to close this out. And so now we're right here on our editor. And I know this might look like quite a bit of different things going on here, but don't worry. Don't get overwhelmed. It's very simple. You just got to know where to go. And I'm going to help out with that. So I'm just going to break this down right quick. And these are kind of strategically placed to make the most sense. And Wix has done a great job with that. So the first thing, if you want to add elements, you can do that. 
If you want to add sections, it's right here. Then you have your pages and menu button right here. And this is going to be your overall site design. And if you want to add apps right here, you can do that. And now this is going to be the business button where you can customize your branding or your business. And then this right here is where your media is going to be. And this right here is the CMS button. So if you're familiar with that, you can go ahead and set that up for your blog. And so right here in the middle is going to be your website preview. And this is clickable. So anytime you want to work on a specific setting, like either the header or you want to go ahead and edit some stuff here on your welcome section. It's very simple to do. Everything is pretty much point and click, and that's what's really great about Wix. And so if you're not somebody who's really tech savvy, they've made it really easy for you to go ahead and create a website without having too much prior knowledge to building websites. So if we just go over here to this button and we click on add elements, these are going to be all your different text elements. And then right here is the sections. So you can go ahead and you can add different welcome sections in right here. And so if you want to do that, and so say we wanted to add this welcome section right here, you just click on it and then you just drag it right over here and then you unselect it. And then that will automatically populate it right here inside of the window. And so then if we keep scrolling down, you can see the rest of the website. And if this is too close up for you, you can go over here and you can zoom out. And that'll give you a better idea of what it's going to look like. Less zoomed in. And then also too, anytime you're working, make sure you go ahead and you save stuff. So if you go ahead and click that button up here, it'll have this pop-up box. So you can click that save button up there. And that will save your progress. And again, if you want to get your domain, you can go ahead and do that. And then anytime you're ready to go ahead and preview it, you can click on this button right here and it will give you the preview of your website. Then you can simply click on back to editor. Also too, if you want to see the mobile version, this is what it will look like. Then click on back to editor just to go back. And then just like that, we're back in the editor. So now what we'll do is go ahead and customize a few things and we will go over here and click on media. And so we don't have any media currently, but if you want to upload it, you can go ahead and just upload media that's on your computer. You can also do it through Facebook, Instagram, Google drive and Google photos. And then if you scroll down right here, you'll notice that Wix has a ton of free images. You can go ahead and just search for anything you want. And they're most likely going to have some great images that you're probably going to like. And so now if you wanted to add an image, you can go ahead and just grab it just like we did the other one and then drop it right here. And if we zoom out right there and then you can take the image and you can change the size of it. You can hold it in right there, like on one of these boxes. And if you want it to line up with these, you'll see that there's some lines that pop up right there. So you can go ahead and take that and it'll tell you when it fits perfectly. I'll go ahead just like that too. I'll go like that. And then if you notice how this image right here is now suddenly overlapping this one, you can go ahead and just click on this image and then go right over here to the right sidebar to where it says section layers. And so if you take this, you just simply put it under it. This is now the one that's overlapping this image. So if you find out different images are overlapping in a way you don't want to, all you need to do is go right over here to the section layers and you can adjust all that. And we can go and if you wanted to add in pages, you can see all your different pages right here and you can go ahead and switch them. You can just select it and you can bring it up. We can bring it down wherever you want to put it. And also too, if you want to add in your own page, you can go ahead and click on add page. And again, gives you tons of different things that you can choose from. And if you go here on the left sidebar, a bunch of different pages that you can also choose from. And if you want to add a menu item, you can just simply click on the add menu item button. 
and you could add a new page. You can add menu items, dynamic pages, links, pretty much anything you want. And now if we close this and we go over here to site design, this is basically where you're going to be able to control the colors that you have, the text theme and all that stuff like that. You can go over here and you can click on change theme and they'll give you a bunch of different options that you can choose from. It's really nice. Really, it makes it really simple too. Let's go through a couple of these so you get an idea of what they can do. I think I kind of like this one right here. And then now if we go over here to the app section, this is basically Wix app market. And then this is going to give you the ability to add a bunch of different features to your Wix site via these apps here. You have tons of different things that you can choose from, whether it be social media icons, if you want to have some social media icons on your site, uh, social media feed, you can track your order page, Spotify music player. I mean, they really have almost, almost anything that you want. So if you're thinking about something, but maybe you don't see it right here, you can go ahead and click on search apps. They got different things here for marketing. You got SEO. You can sell stuff online right here. You got your media and content design elements. You really just have an endless amount of stuff that you can choose from. So if we just go ahead and scroll down and we want to just click on one of the apps, like let's say Wix chat here, all it requires is a one click here, click on add to your site and that will do it for you. Occasionally you might have to do a little bit of a different setup, but for the most part, it's all going to be really straightforward. Another thing now you might want to check out is your SEO, your search engine optimization for your website. So if you go and just click on settings and then SEO setup checklist, this is basically going to bring you over to a different page here where it's going to go through pretty much everything. And then it's automatically going to just help you with your SEO. And ultimately it just helps you get found in search engines, which is important for website traffic. So if you could just go ahead and scroll down and click on the get started button, you can go ahead and fill in your information right here. Then it's going to ask you some questions. You can go ahead and select your answers. Then it's also going to ask you some keywords. And so like it says here, keywords are phrases, usually two to five words long that help match your site with what customers enter into search engines. So you can just type in a couple of keywords here that describe your site. And then when you're ready to enter the keyword in, just simply put a comma after, and that will make it a keyword right there. And then after that, it's basically just going to show you your current SEO optimization recommendations. So the stuff in red is the stuff that you need to go ahead and add. And then the stuff in green is what you've already did. So then if you go and you fill out everything here that's red and you turn all these from red to green, you're basically going to be putting your website in the best position it can be SEO wise. And so I'd recommend just going through these step by step and just clicking on go for it for each one until everything here is from red to green. And this is usually best to do before you actually deploy your website or publish your website. Because that way, once you do it, it's already going to be optimized, like I said, as best as you can be for SEO. So once you did everything here and then you go and you add your own domain, the next thing you need to do is publish your site. And I can show you how to do that. So now once you have your website set up, you have your theme that you want, you have your content on there, you changed your colors, everything like that. You've connected your domain. The last thing you're going to need to do is go ahead up to the top right and click on the blue publish button. So if we click it right now, it's going to ask you if you want to go ahead and set up your site. And so right here, we don't have our domain yet. So it's just going to give you a temporary domain. So once your domain has been connected, all you would need to do is go ahead and click on this done button. 
And so then once you click this button, it's going to be live and you and anyone else that you want to see your website will be able to by going online and going to your domain name. And now before doing this, I just recommend going up to preview and checking out your website and making sure all your pages are set up the way you want it to. And once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and click on publish. And if you don't want to, and if you're not ready yet, you can always go back to your editor and fix things the way you want it before you publish your site. And so basically that's how you're going to go ahead and create your own Wix website. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions about how to use Wix or anything else, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.